This is the vehicle that will put Nissan back in the V8 Supercars game in 2013. The Nissan Altima has been unveiled in Melbourne, ahead of its full competition debut with the Clipsal 500 in Adelaide next March. With new rules set to take effect in 2013, Nissan announced its intentions back in February. Since that time, it's been full steam ahead for the Kelly Racing operation. Yeah, it's a pretty special moment to unveil this car. It's uh, only been seven months from start to finish from when we got the CAD designs of the all-new Altima road car to producing the race car. And in that seven months, we've spent over 23,000 hours in design and build to get the car done. So to have it sitting here and the quality of the finish is absolutely superb. So I just can't wait to get the car on the track and see what it can do. Co-owner Rick Kelly confident that the Ultima will be one to watch from 2013. We've still got some work to do, there's no doubt about that. We've got a brand new car, we're going to go and test it in the coming months and that's going to be a very exciting time for us. We've got to learn a whole new suspension package like every other team in V8 Supercar does and that creates with it a really an opportunity for us to capitalise on that and learn the car quicker than anyone else and, uh, and leapfrog them. The four-car Nissan Motorsport entry is based on the Altima, a new vehicle for Australia set to be launched in the second half of 2013. Well, I think that the racing series gives us the ultimate platform to demonstrate how Nissan products are innovative and exciting. What more could be more exciting than competing on a racetrack? And so we think that as the fans and as the public gets familiar with the name, as the cars on the grid, it will be a nice runway to bring the passenger car to market here. Yeah, it's huge. The fans, a lot of them still aren't quite sure what car we're going to be racing next year, so at least it puts that to bed. It's the all-new Altima, and to put the road car next to this race car, other than the front bar and a few styling things, you'd barely tell the difference between the road and the race car, so uh, we're about uh, half a year, I guess, from uh, the actual road car arriving, but can't wait to get my hands on one of those either. Well, it's a very exciting time, not only for us bringing the new Nissan Altima onto the grid, but for everyone in V8 Supercars and all the fans to turn up to Clipsal at the start of next year and see all these new race cars, a new Holden, a new Ford as well with the car, the future chassis. It's going to be a cracking event. V8 Supercars will soon take the Altima for full technical and parity assessment to ensure the Nissan is both competitive and on equal par to the other models in the championship.